This PC right here cost me around $200, and today we're going to see if we can turn it into a NASA PC. So I had some technical difficulties trying to record it, but we're just going to record it from now. I'm going to just show you guys how much FPS we're getting on this PC right now. We're getting around 50 to 40 FPS. I'm going to try to get 240 FPS for this video to be a success. Before I do continue though, guys, I want to tell you guys how you earn money just by playing Fortnite. Don't worry because this is completely free and it's really, really simple. There's a thing called rematch and they pay you for every elim you get and every victory royale. Like I said, you go against people your skill level so you won't be going against sweats every time. If you guys want to start earning money, head to the description down below and sign up for rematch. Alright, first thing we're going to do is create a restore point just in case anything goes wrong while doing all these optimizations and tweaks. All right, next thing we're going to do is change the Fortnite graphics and prioritizing it to be high performance so that the game can run smoothly. So we're going to select high performance on the graphics preference. And so basically it just lowers the graphics so your performance can be better for the specific game that you selected. All right, I downloaded the optimization folder that I had from my Discord, and we're going to run some different tweaks that it has in there, like the performance mode, high mesh, low mesh, game user settings. So we're going to replace the game user settings that I have on this pack with the one from Fortnite. All right, so control R, we're going to go to local app data and go to the Fortnite game files. Alright, now what I'm going to do is delete the current game user settings that I have right here and replace it with the one from the folder. So I'm just going to go to the folder and drag and drop the game user setting. It's already an uh, optimized uh, game user setting, so there's nothing you can change with like the grass and all that stuff. It's already changed to be like the best performance. Alright, now I'm going to run the different tweaks that I have on the pack like cpu optimization different when low latency all that stuff so i'm going to run this and it should help the pc overall get better performance and all that stuff all right so on chrome now i'm going to go to the settings and we're going to go into the advanced settings and we're going to turn off hardware acceleration and google chrome running in the background as this can affect your performance and we're going to try to get max performance as possible. All right, so now I'm going to download Park Control to unlock our cores and tweak our CPU. All right, once I have it open, I'm just going to enable all of this stuff right here and then apply it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is power plan. Uh, I know there's an ultimate power plan, optimized power plan and a high performance one, but I'm going to do high performance, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the ultimate one as well. For those who want to know but we're gonna do high end performance as it helps the low end pc much more than the ultimate performance does but i'm gonna show you guys how to do the ultimate performance if you guys are curious so just go to your command prompt and paste in the thing that i have in the description and all it does it just gives you the ultimate power plan you won't have it unless you type in this command so you should see it once you restart your pc and it should show up right there all right, now we're just going to tweak around with the control panel, advanced graphics settings, all that stuff. So go to your control panel, search up advanced and under system, you should see view advanced settings. So click on that. And then right below it, you should see performance. Click on that. Now I'm going to do a custom type of performance option. So to uncheck all of this, just click on the best performance and click on custom. And we're just going to check this one and the marker thumbnails one if you don't check those two the text and all that stuff on your pc will be ugly so that's all the tweaks i'm gonna do just for now i could do more and overclock this whole pc and all that stuff but it would take forever but we're just gonna see how much performance we can get right now so looking up we're getting around 100 looking down 80 to 170 so about this pc the fps is really unstable like a moment you could have 170 frames and then the next moment it drops to 60. I'm not sure if you guys can tell by the recording how bad it is, but I would say this is a mid success in turning it into a NASA PC as we did get from 40 FPS to at least 90 now. So I would say this is a success, although it's not a fully NASA PC, it is a playable experience. And if this video gets 
2,000 likes, I'll play on this PC, which is really, really bad.